Hello, I'm Jeanette at Rustic, and today I'm here with Rustic alumna Katie Gruber, who went on the Turtle Conservation Program this past summer. Hello, Katie. Hi. Hope you are well. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I live in Wisconsin. I went on the Turtle Conservation Project this past summer. Um, I'm a senior currently in high school, and next year I plan to study and start my major in psychology. Yeah, that's just a little bit about me. So you went on the turtle conservation. Is that something like if you always loved turtles or is it kind of like a new kind of um, passion for you? I was just given this opportunity kind of last minute because I went with a neighboring school's key club and they just needed some, they needed people because some girls have dropped out. So oh, right. I went through like this separate interview process and everything to get in. Oh, wow. All I heard is that we're going to help sea turtles and I didn't really know much anything about it <laughs> you heard sea turtles and you're like I'm in <laughs> yeah helping sea turtles in Costa Rica got it <laughs> and like what was a typical day for you like on the program what was that like so a typical day you'd like wake up eat breakfast and then you would head over to the um hatchery and you would meet up there meet up with our guides kind of talk about what we're doing for our morning projects. So one day I remember we moved to like, I think they said 200 trees or something over to a different spot. We had our lunch and then went back to our hotel, regrouped a little bit, cleaned up, went back over. And then we did our afternoon project, which is like cleaning the beach. And one of the days there we saw like sea turtles hatching. So we had to go over and see how many we could find alive and stuff, see where it was, because there's a bunch of under, under all this driftwood that we we're currently cleaning up. And then at nighttime, we would either go for a, like a mm -hmm. night walk where we would go watch for turtle tracks and see where they were laying their eggs. And like, was there a particular moment, like a favorite moment that you have from this whole experience? Like one, just one, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of them, but just your favorite um, moment. Our first night walk, we found our first turtle and then they had me, like, we were watching it. And then our guide handed me the tape measure. He's like, measuring it? I'm like, what? <laughs> Everyone in the circle was like, your face when he had the tape was just, you were nervous and excited. <laughs> but they had a super cool measuring the sea turtle shell. I've never been that close to a sea turtle before. And I was just right there with it. It was crazy. Would you say that this program like changed you? Has it changed anything in like your outlook on life or has it made oh, yeah. you more passionate about wildlife conservation? Oh, for sure. Just seeing when we cleaned up the beach, there's so many like shoes there, flip flops and everything. And then we saw a piece of shirt into a dead piece of coral. I think that's what really like, not like flip the switch, but really like, made me more aware I always think of that when I like go out or I see trash on the street I always try to pick it up because I already I know where it's going to end up in the long run and just on those beaches turn to the microplastics which I learned about by one of our guides so I think I have definitely become like every time I go out to our state parks or anything anytime I see garbage I always try and pick it up as much as I can when beforehand I would probably like not just leave it but I wouldn't really think much about it now I'm just like always picking it up do you have any like tips or advice for students going on the program next year um just enjoy every second and minute of it like it may not like some of it could be super hard work like moving the tree like if you do and if they end up moving trees or doing some hard labor it can be hard, but it's so worth it. Just like knowing that you are making a difference and seeing the difference you're being made and knowing that you're helping down out the environment, whether it's in Costa Rica or in any of the other areas that you guys have programs to. Because I don't think I've ever seen myself like making that much of a difference in nature or anything with any of the service projects here in Wisconsin that I've helped out with. Once in a lifetime experience for sure. Well, thank you, Katie, for answering all those questions. And I have some like quick fire questions. Is that what it's called? Like quick fire round? Are you yeah. ready? 
(laughs) (laughs) Number one, what's your favorite color? I like like a light blue. Favorite (laughs) animal? Um, probably uh, monkeys. (laughs) Yeah, super cute. (laughs) Uh, Favorite food? Um, I like chicken alfredo um favorite netflix show or like thing that you're streaming at the moment like your favorite i just finished the third season of you on netflix um last one your favorite music type of music that you listen to um my favorite type of music is kind of just just some songs that i find here and there they're pop like either pop or like newer songs or could be like more of a poppy country type of thing oh nice all right yeah Well, thank you so much, Katie, for chatting with us and telling us about your experience on the Turtle Conservation Program. That was really awesome. I was so Mm -hmm. excited to talk to you. If you'd like to participate in some meaningful service projects and contribute to wildlife preservation, then you can find information about our programs in the video description or by visiting rusticpathways.com. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos.